Hi there. If I was to ask you about addiction, there's a lot of different things that could come to mind. Alcoholism could come to mind. Drugs could come to mind. But as my friend Salt and Peppa said, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that could be. Now, sexual addiction is something that a lot of people deal with. And I've put it out there that on my Facebook page that if anybody ever wants me to review a movie to let me know, somebody responded and said, how about Thanks for Sharing? Now, Thanks for Sharing is a very interesting movie in that it deals with sexual addiction. It's not something that we usually think about, and it's not something that we usually talk about. As it states in the movie, sexual addiction is usually something that people use as a, cl as a, as a crutch when they, got, when they get caught cheating. Oh, baby, I didn't know what was going on. I'm an addict. I didn't know. Please forgive me. Well, in this movie, we meet Adam, played by Mark Ruffalo, or as I like to call him, the Hulk. And basically, he's been dealing with sexual addiction for a long time. He goes to meetings, he has a sponsor, he's doing everything he can to conquer this. But then, wouldn't you know, he goes to the park and he meets a very limber Gwyneth Paltrow who's out for a run, and the next thing you know, they start dating. Now, as he's trying to deal with his sexual addiction and deal with the fact that at some point, if this relationship gets serious, he's going to have to tell her about it, all the while, while she's trying to seduce him with her sexual, uh, with her sexual prowess and her next-to-nothing lingerie and her ridiculously erotic lap dances. What a poor guy. Now, this movie was very interesting in the fact, like, that, in the fact that, as I've said before, we don't usually talk about sex, sexual addiction in movies. But this movie did a really good job of showing the consequences of sexual addiction. We saw people losing their jobs. We saw people just spiraling out of control. And in the first half of this movie, I thought it was very well done. The second half of this movie left me wanting a little more in the sense that I felt that they wrapped up the movie uh, a little too quick and then they, and they started having all of these different catastrophes and things coming at us from nowhere. If, they, if they'd kept on with the, the, the theme of the first half of the movie and carried it through, I think the movie would have been a lot better. But here's the great thing. I'm giving this movie a C plus, and that's usually the type of grade that I give to a movie that you should see in a rental or a Netflix or an iTunes. And considering that this movie isn't playing in theaters right now, it's pretty much the only way, pretty much the only way that you can see it. So if you have an opportunity to see Thanks for Sharing, I definitely recommend it. I think it's a fun date movie. I think it'd be a fun movie to talk about. Maybe even a fun movie to, to, to dissect and discuss with your friends. So this movie gets a C plus from me, and I thank you for asking me to review it. As always, you can check me out on Twitter at CFL underscore fan, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and WittyWittier.com. Until then, play safe, and I'll see you at the movies.